Another example in the uh, long line of examples of the gay rights activist attacking people of conscience. Perhaps you heard the story of Judge Neely from Wyoming who was uh, censured. It's, uh, censured for not wanting to do gay marriages in her courtroom. Uh, I would like to share an angle that I don't think you've heard. I certainly haven't heard of it. Oftentimes a gay rights activist will be pushing for marriage equality and the, the essence of equality is what I want us to think about here today. Um, I would, if I were to defend myself, if I was in that judge's shoes, I might say something like this. I would gladly recognize your wedding if you can prove to me that what you are doing is equal to what a man and a woman do in marriage. The reason I think this is an important question is, is whenever a civil authority offers or gives, grants the permission as in a license or a permit, it's assumed that the official of the government has to discern between granting the license and not granting the license, as in a driver's license, for instance. If you are going to the government to get a license, the government has to determine whether there's a difference, whether you fit into one category of drivers versus another category of drivers, namely, Will you be a good driver as opposed to being a bad driver? And that's, in one sense, not a moral character not characterization. It's simply a statement of fact. A good driver is one who avoids accidents and follows the rules of the road, etc. Anytime there's a license granted, um, the government has to decide if the action it's giving you permission to do you will be able to carry it out. Um, another license, for instance, is a f pilot's license. If someone is to grant a pilot's license to somebody, the ruling authority has to determine the difference between a good pilot and a bad pilot. No aviation instructor would be disciplined because they chose not to give a license to a student who declared they would never listen to anyone in a control tower and they would never check their plane with periodic maintenance requirements. Those kinds of things would render the decision to give that license to that person. Uh, it would be null. Or a business license. You get business licenses because the government thinks there's a good way to do business and a bad way to do business. Every license implies a distinction. but. In this area of human sexuality, the distinction seems to disappear. There, there is no distinction between what two men do in the privacy of their bedroom and a man and a woman do in the privacy of their own bedroom. Can it be considered equal? If you look at the facts, the answer is obviously no. They are not, they are not open to life and they are not Stri striving to create a bond between the two sides of human nature, as it were, male and female. That is an important aspect of why traditional marriage has been and always will be sacred and a fundamental building block in society. So if gay rights activists are crying for for marriage equality, I'd be happy to give it to them if they can pr prove that their action is equal to the normal male and female actions. But of course, they can't. So of course, the, the license or the permission can and should be denied. Rather, um, the, the judge in the case in Wyoming should, should be given the same kind of uh, difference as any civil magistrate does when they reject a driver's license, a pilot's license, a business license, or any other license for that matter. 
um, something to think about because the language around which this argument is being framed is completely lost. Why, why do so many people think the action is equal? Because they don't see the distinction, especially because even heterosexual activity has been rendered sterile and in so many people's minds it's equal to gay sexual acts. That is not an argument for calling the two acts equal. They're very different and uh, that we need to respect that distinction um, so, that, so that the denial of a license is certainly not an offensive action uh, by the judge or by anybody else. Thanks for listening. I'm Father Tom Coys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Unlike Other Nations, below. God bless you.